Now we're going to continue our discussion of the history of industrial and organizational psychology. So now let's discuss Frederick Taylor. One of Hugo Munzeberg's contemporaries who we discussed prior was Frederick Taylor. Taylor was not a psychologist and he is considered to be the founding father of scientific management. Despite Taylor's non-psychology background, his ideas were important to the development of the industrial organizational psychology field because they evolved at around the same time and some of his innovations, such as job analysis, later became critically important aspects of industrial and organizational psychology. Taylor was an engineer and a management consultant who pioneered time studies where management observed how work was being performed and how it could be performed even better. For example, after analyzing how workers shoveled coal, Taylor decided that the optimum weight of coal to be lifted was 21 pounds. So what did he do? He designed a shovel to be distributed to workers for this purpose. He also instituted mandatory breaks to prevent fatigue, which also increased the efficiency of workers. His book, Principles of Scientific Management, was highly influential in pointing out how management could play a role in increasing efficiency of human factors.